You know what? I'm excited. Today is new gear day, new tool day, whatever you want to call it, but got that bad boy. Yes, that, my friends, is a 2100 PSI DeWalt electric pressure washer, which is replacing this thing. That's a 2000 PSI, obviously, Ryobi, and it's about five years old, and it's worked pretty good. We're going to see if it works with that, but here's the big thing. We're going to wash that with it. So look, I never recommend using pressure washers on basically any part of a motorcycle, but I think I found a use for a pressure washer on one part of a motorcycle, and that's gonna be getting these wheels clean right here. Yeah. We're gonna get some foam in there, and we're gonna get some foam in there, and foam in there, and foam in there. And I know what you're saying. Pressure washers aren't meant to be used on motorcycles. I get it. I've seen people use them, but I never use them because a motorcycle is designed for wind and water to go up and over here and straight in the front there and maybe hit it from the sides and down from the top every, you know, when it rains and stuff. But they're just not meant for, you know, getting a hundred and some mile an hour or whatever water going into the radio. And I have seen people have problems, electrical problems, after they use a pressure washer on their motorcycles. So we're kind of doing a two for today. Let's get this thing unboxed and set up. And then uh, let's test it out on the old uh, Harley Street Glide there, all right? As usual, I think I'm opening the bottom. Look at that, what a beaut. And you might be asking yourself, why this thing? Why the DeWalt, why not another Ryobi? I'll give you three reasons. One, it's compact and light. So that's two reasons. But look how small and compact this thing is. Number two is it said in the manual job site like 15 different times. By the way, you can get these online. You can read it. Yeah, I looked up, must have been 15 pressure washers before I settled on this one. But this one's got everything in it you could ask for. It's a little bit more powerful than my old one, but it also says that you can use extension cords with it. It gives you a chart in the owner's manual for using extension cords with it. Yep. So given that my house's power is not the best and not the cleanest, I think that speaks to robustness. Also speaking to robustness is the third reason. It literally says in the manual, this product is, you know what? It says right here, your DeWalt power tool has been designed to operate over a long period of time with a minimum of maintenance. Big thing about electric pressure washers is pump protector. It's a liquid that you squirt into the thing after using it and it supposedly protects the pump. That's what happened to my Ryobi. I never used it because I stored it indoors and I flushed it out every time with water and well, I thought that was good enough. But after five years, the pump started leaking the last time I used it. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw those pictures of my nice shiny truck, which I'm using as a rolling recording studio today. <laughs> but anyway, this thing um, should work better and last longer than my old one. Plus it says you can stack stuff on it, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm gonna read through this. Get that ready to rock and roll. We're gonna try it out on the street glide. First of all, let's get this bad boy out of here. It just stores there, it's the high pressure hose. On the back, we've got power cord, a power cord, grammar is important. We'll leave that attached for now. Yep, telescoping handle, built-in wheels. Easy breezy. Now where's the handle? I don't see a handle, boss. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, this is so cool. All right, I thought they sold me a used one, but check this out. It stores everything in the lid here. There, boom. There's your wand. Well, the handle, turbo nozzle, the actual wand, and the, the foregrip. How cool is that? And here on the handle, the other three nozzles. So that's gonna be a soap nozzle, 40 degree and 15 degree nozzles, in addition to the turbo. This is what I like to use to clean concrete with. It makes Easy work of it. But also you saw earlier, I've got the disc attachment for the Ryobi. So we're gonna see if that fits too. Now to figure out the rest of this setup. Such nice fittings on this thing, I'm impressed. So far the build quality just looks like a premium, premium product. Maybe I should read the instructions. There we go. Look at the size of my wand. Oh, bazinga. Yeah, this thing is super nice. Yes, the build quality so far is very impressive. And there's a trigger lock here. Bam, look at that. So now on this side, you can see that's gonna fit right in there. The center section shoves in, and then big twist lock here. Bam, that thing's on. Now all we need is power and something to spray down. 
First, we're gonna rinse off the Harley, and then we'll get the uh, then we'll get the pressure washer finished set up and rocking and rolling. Well, I do believe this thing has a 35 foot power cord. Take a look. Yep, it runs right from here all the way there to the side of my house. That's pretty handy. It also has a 25 foot high pressure hose and the aforementioned nozzles. This is great. It's a little further away than I wanted, but uh, we'll make it work. All right, we're all set up. You can see I've got everything plugged in. I rinsed off the Harley. It's wet. It's gonna dry quickly, but don't worry, don't worry. But what I wanted to show you is if you've got a pressure washer with multiple nozzles, we can use the 40 degree here or the soap nozzle to uh, help rinse off the bike. So that's what we're gonna do now. See, easy breezy. Let's try the next nozzle up, the 40 degree. So this is the first thing I noticed. The soap nozzle, plastic. The white nozzle here is 40 degrees, has metal fittings. So make sure it's fully inserted. Hear the click, good to go. Test away from the bike. Yeah, see, still soft. And will it reach? Mostly it reaches the other side. Already, I like the sounds this thing is making. It's pretty good. So now, let's get some soap on the Harley. For applying soap, we're gonna use the Chemical Guys Torque Cannon. I'll, uh, yeah, it's a torque foam cannon. I'll leave a link in the uh, video description below, but we're using the Sticky Snowball formula. It's great stuff. I'm gonna have it set to maximum suds. Yep, that's maximum suds. And then you can see maybe there's an adjuster in here that opens and closes. We're gonna leave that halfway open and then we'll try it next to the bike and see what we think but this is not going to come out of the pressure washer anywhere near as fast as the water does normally with any pressure really so that's what makes this okay to use on that so let's do that now Doesn't that look like a lot of fun? <laughs> uh, now a nice soft rinse with our hose again. Look how well those soap suds stuck to the ground. That's just crazy. tell you already soap got everywhere it normally doesn't get so that's a good sign as you can see bike came out pretty good I think it's got enough pressure to do the job I just have one more test for it and that's my driveway so let's get started now that the bike's clean time to give the Ryobi disc attachment, which has the same uh, connector piece, but see, it's got two spinny guys inside. Yes, technical terms, spinny guys. These allow the pressure to clean a driveway like three times faster. So I use this with my old one. We're gonna try it with the new one. Let's get going. We're gonna start here in the shady spot. Yes, shade, shade, sun, watch.
So far, so good. I'm gonna try out this turbo nozzle. So, what do I think of the new DeWalt DWPW2100, 2100 PSI pressure washer? I think I didn't figure out how to put that cord back on right, and I gotta practice my cable management skills for the high pressure hose. Other than that, this thing is awesome. It sounds great, it works great, got the bike clean as you saw. I mean, what else is there to say? It, it makes enough pressure, it gets stuff clean. And I dare say that the turbo nozzle on this is better than the disc attachment I had for the Ryobi. So I guess I'm looking for a disc attachment for the DeWalt now. So anyway, uh, we washed a bike, we tested out a new pressure washer. Hopefully you got some enjoyment out of it and I'm gonna go take a shower cause it's hotter than heck out here. So I hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you like what I'm doing here, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.